Welcome. So what I have here is x plus 2 divided by x minus 4 plus 2x plus 5x divided by 3x minus 1. And what I'm going to do in this uh, example is kind of show you how to add all three rational expressions. So you can see that each one of my rational expressions all have a different denominator. And I, whenever I have different denominators, I need to make sure I find a common denominator, which we call our least common denominator. And it's very important when finding determining the least common denominator that we first simplify our expressions. Well, you can see that each one of these rational expressions is already simplified. So therefore, my LCD is going to be x minus 4 times x times, uh, if I'm running out of space here, let's call, let's do it over here. My LCD is going to equal x times x minus 4 times 3x minus 1. All right. That means if each one of my denominators can contain eat all of those values, then they will be my least common denominator. That's the smallest denominator that each one of those can have in common. So we look at each one of my denominators. They all have a part of the least common denominator, but they're missing the other two factors. So what I'm going to have to do then to get them to have those other two factors is multiply the denominator by those values. And remember, whatever I multiply the denominator by, I have to multiply the numerator by. So let's just kind of go left to right. So here I have x minus 4, but I need to contain x and a 3x minus 1. So I'm going to multiply my numerator and my denominator by those values. Over here, I already have x, but I need to have an x minus 4 and a 3x minus 1. So I'll do um, x minus 4 and 3x minus 1. And then over here on my last term, I already have 3x minus 1, but I need to make sure I have x times x minus 4. All right, so not to make this more confusing than it has to be, we know that when we multiply all of our denominators, they're all going to have my LCD. However, I think we need to kind of do a little work as far as simplifying our numerators. So what I'm going to do is, since I'm multiplying three terms together, I'm going to multiply the red first, and then we'll multiply by our terms in black. Make sure those are in parentheses as well. So here, what I'm really multiplying my x plus 2 by is a 3x squared minus x, right? You're applying your distributive property. And that's going to be multiplied by x plus 2. Plus, over here, I'm just going to multiply these out by applying FOIL. All right, so that's going to be a 2 times x times, uh, x times 3x is going to be 3x squared. x times negative x is negative x. Negative 4 times 3x is a negative 12x. That's going to provide me with a negative 13x, and negative 4 times negative 1 is a positive 12. And then plus, over here, I have a 5x times, let's apply distributive property here, so I have an x squared minus 4x. All right, so everything looks pretty good here. That's in parentheses. Make sure you apply your parentheses. And we know this is all under our LCD, which is x times x minus 4 times 3x minus 1. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and simplify this, right? Because now we need to do distributive property again. All right. So now, let's go and redo this again. So 3x squared times x is going to leave me with a 3x cubed. 3x squared times 2 is going to leave me with a 6x squared, a positive 6x squared x times negative x is a negative x squared. So rather than just writing negative x squared, let's write this as 5x squared. And negative x times 2 is going to leave me with a negative 2x. Plus, next term, 2 times 3x is going to leave me 6x squared. Sorry, 2 times 3x squared is 6x squared. 2 times negative 26 or 13 is a negative 26x. And then 2 times 12 is going to be a positive 24. Where did I already get 12? That's a positive 4. All right? Negative 4 times negative 1 is a positive 4. Sorry about that. So 2 times 4 is going to be a positive 8. And then plus 5x times x squared is going to be 5x cubed. 
5x times negative 4 is going to be a negative 20x squared. OK. And then again, this is all over our LCD, which is x times x minus 4 times 3x minus 1. All right, so now we can combine our like terms. So what I'm going to do is I'll just do a little color coding. We see we have cubes. I have two cubes, which I'll combine. Then I also have squareds, which I'll do in the green. And I'm just using these color codes just to kind of help me um, relate which terms I need to combine. And then I have my x's, which I'll do in my orange. All right. So let's go ahead and look at our cubes first, and let's go and combine them. So 3x cubed plus 5x cubed is going to be an 8x cubed. Then we have a positive 5x squared plus uh, 6x squared is 11x squared minus 20x squared, which is going to be a negative 9x squared. Then we have 6, uh, I'm sorry, uh, then minus 26x. then plus 8. And that's all over x times x minus 4 times 3x minus 1. Now remember, if I want to be able to determine what are my restrictions, all I need to do is set my denominator equal to 0. And since we have a product equal to 0, we can apply my 0 product property, which means set each factor equal to 0. Now I just solve for x. And what we obtain here is that each one of these values, when x equals 0, 4, or 1 third, my value, my denominator is going to be equal to 0. So therefore, therefore that's going to be the restrictions on my uh, rational term. So there is how you simplify your rational expressions. Thanks.